Another great story is uh, Jeff Glass, Chicago Blackhawk uh, goaltender, beat the New York Rangers last night. Uh, hey, Jeff joins us now. You've got a five of a possible six points, 32-year-old rookie in the National Hockey League. We all remember you from the World Junior Championship. Uh, congratulations on your success. Where Where is your head at uh, right now from where it was uh, a week and a half ago? No, well, it's been an exciting week and a half, that's for sure. But um, my job right now is to just come in and uh, help get this team some points. So, you know, it, it, it's happened fast for me. It's been uh, quite the ride, but uh, I'm trying to keep it all in perspective here and realize that we're in a playoff hunt and we're just trying to get points any way we can. So when you watched Vegas go five deep for goaltenders over the last couple of months, did that inspire you that seriously, I still... I'm going to get a chance here, and I'm going to I'm going to get the job done. Yeah, I think lots of guys that were playing in the American League at that time kind of looked around and said, "Hey, you know, why not us? This could happen to anybody." And uh, it's a pretty good story they had there. And those guys stepped in and they did a great job, and uh, obviously kept that team afloat and, and then some. So you know, when you see something like that, it's it's inspirational. It helps you believe that there's still a chance and, uh, that you might have a chance down the road. Now, you never wish injuries on anybody, but um, you know, if there's an opportunity there to get in and play some games, it's it's great. And, and most importantly, like I said, it's, it's helped the Blackhawks get some points. Are, are you generally a patient person? I've played with guys in the American Hockey League that have got this ex- expiration date. If I'm not here by a certain date, I'm getting the heck out. I got to go start a new life. I got to find a new job. I mean, where are you in, uh, on that scale? Yeah, no, I, I mean... It, you, you have to be patient, and, and that's that's part of it, is wait for your chance, and then when you have a chance, make the most of it. And, uh, that's always the way I've looked at it, is um, everyone's going to get a chance. It's just a matter of what you do with your chance when you get it, and um, right now is my chance, so I'm well aware of that. And, uh, I think it's also important to know that most people only get one chance, and I've heard those stories as well. Um, guys coming in and doing their best and trying their best, and this doesn't work out, and for whatever reason, that was your chance, so I'm trying to take every game, one, one game at a time, one shot at a time, and uh, really just make the most of it. Had you ever come close to retiring? Nope, not yet, not yet. Um, Russia was good. I, I can't say anything bad about Russia and the KHL. It was good to me. It, uh, it taught me a lot about myself, and um, it really helped my game, to be honest. We were talking about it last night after our game was – um, just how different the, the international game is, just how it's a pass first league and how um, they really, as a goaltender, you got to be really patient and kind of wake the guys out. So uh, when I was over there, it might have felt like for people back home that I was off the radar or off the map or close to retiring, but I, I, it never came close to my mind that um, that's where I was at. And, and I feel more comfortable in my game now than I ever have. Where, where did you get your best previous chance? Where were you that you thought you had your best chance to be an NHL regular prior to this? Well, you know, I, I probably really didn't get much of a chance just only due to the, the circumstances the circumstances of the situation. Uh, I was with Ottawa for four years, um, never really cracked through there, and that was that. And next thing you know, I went over to Russia for uh, was a one-year deal, and one year turned into seven. So, um it, and I never really did come that close, to be perfectly honest. I was always um, kind of a depth guy with Ottawa and, and uh, just didn't really get come close to getting my chance. 